In Alexander Scholznitzen's Gulag Archipelago, uh, he discussed the Nuremberg trials, which he considered the most significant events of the 20th century. The conclusion of the, those trials were as follows. There are some actions that are so intrinsically terrible that they run counter to the proper nature of human being. This is true essentially cross-culturally across time and place. These are evil actions. No excuses are available for engaging in them. To dehumanize a fellow being, to reduce him or her to the status of a parasite, to torture and to slaughter with no consideration of individual innocence or guilt, to make an art form of pain, that is wrong. And that is the deepest roots of evil. And searching through the lowest reaches of human thought and action, Understanding my own and your own capacity to act like a Nazi prison guard or a Gulag Archipelago trustee or torturer of children in a dungeon. You must grasp what, is, what it means to take the sins of the world onto oneself. Each human being has immense capacity for evil. I will keep echoing this time and time again. Sit back and think. It's going to be very confronting, but just let's sit back and think and feel. It's not just think, it's feel. Because it could have been any one of us, a Nazi prison guard. I would never do something like that. What the hell are you talking about? Do you think they just woke up one day and just started torturing people? No, that's not what happened. Most of the time. <laughs> they... It was a slow, gradual formation of malevolence and evil, like like a like a seed that that grows into a plant. But this plant doesn't produce oxygen; it produces poison. So, what would it be like to turn that gas on? Watch all those people die. What would it be like to torture a child? What would it... See, it's tough because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think about it here, but then I'm trying to describe it. And when you describe something, then you feel it. And you can see even now, it's like... I think movies have glorified violence and have desensitized us, desensitized us to, to violence and torture and pain and suffering in some ways, but the act of evil is ever more stark and painful and present. And what does torture mean? It could be more, it could be described, you know, it could be characterized through acts like waterboarding, like sticking, like peeling nails off, off someone's hand with, a, with pliers. Imagine doing that to a child. Imagine waterboarding a child. What about a baby? What about a pregnant woman? What about what about what about driving a knife through a pregnant woman's belly? You don't think that happened? You don't think that's happened? You don't think that's happening somewhere right now? Seven billion people. The only thing that's happened today, <laughs> you'd be naive to think that. If we can learn what it's like to feel and visualize and think about the immense capacity for evil that we all have, I, I, I feel we can then understand it a lot better. and we can become better as people. That's why I do this.